this way. Da, 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 da. Okay. We're on, Sheena. We're on. <laughs> Welcome to CBC 13. You're probably asking yourself, or maybe you're not, where have you been for the last few months? Well, I was down at the beach trying to get cooperation from people to interview, and everybody rejected me. It was <laughs> taking quite a while to find somebody, and along came this lady, and she is an interesting dudette, Sheena McCorkadell. She's got a whole bunch of things going on. I, I'm changing strategies, moving away from the beach, it's a little cold down there, and interviewing people in our area that I think are really interesting. And this lady is really interesting. <laughs> As a cat house owner, you're going to agree, I'm sure, right? Uh, you do have a cat house, right? I have a cat house. Yes, <laughs> and several other businesses. But let's hear from uh, Sheena. And we're going to see what uh, we got Fred here too. He's like, oh, there he Hello, is. Fred. And uh, he's sort of in the interview as well. He'll probably want royalties. <laughs> but Sheena, why don't you tell tell me about some of the things going on here? Tell me about Fred and your your uh, business this here. This is and the, where it is. Where are we? Yeah, we're in Qualcomm Bay, and uh, this is the Comfy Cat Boarding Kennel that has been open since July in 2016. I have eight little condos that are three-story condos that have exterior and interior components. So this is the balcony. Fred is enjoying his balcony right now. <laughs> and then he'll go through his little cat door and go into his three-story condo. And... Outdoor, there's a nice little sitting area yeah. here. And, and as well, in the, in the cat, this is the cat uh, place where people can board their cats. But also, they're very comfy. You can see this outside portion. It's like a mini motel. And one thing that you told me is these things can separate yep. if there's any hanky-panky going on <laughs> in the hotel, which never happens in hotels, no, I'm never, sure. No, never, never. No. If, there's, if there's multiple cats to a family, the walls can be removed so you can have a, a larger area. <laughs> and you'll see some of the pictures inside. They have a TV. They've got music, very nice and clean. The, the Fred here is apparently he's not the most friendly guy I've heard, <laughs> but he's got a, a little exactly. issue here and there. But he seems to be enjoying himself uh, very much. There's a few doves out there that you'll see as well. But tell 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 us about uh, your drawing component of this business. The drawing is under the Cat House Studio, and I have a studio night every Tuesday night where artists come and we have a model and we do uh, portrait drawing and portrait painting. And on the first Tuesday of the month, we move that class into the pub <laughs> at the Crown and Anchor pub. So tonight we have Laurieann, who's going to be posing for us. And you can just show up, um, it's $17 per participant, but five of that is a coupon for the bar. So the bar makes $5 for sure, whether you have tea or you have a Harvey Wallbanger. <laughs> Does that mean I can't? I'd have to pay if I came and just wanted to have a beer and see. No, if I... no. If you're just having a beer, that's not. But what we're doing is asking to. It's to chipping into to defray the cost of the model and and putting it all together. So if you're actually participating in drawing, then you it's seventeen dollars and you get a five dollar coupon for the bar. Could we sort of say like, like, like let's say you needed a real sexy male older model uh, that no. would come. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's rejection, by the way. You can Flat see up. that. I had. A, I thought it was a good idea. But uh, the other thing is, um, you, you're involved in some other things as well. You're yes. involved with the market. You're involved with uh, yeah. all kinds of. Uh, My dove release. Like, so I have. I have actually four businesses. So I have the the uh, comfy cat kennels, the silver wings dove release, the. <laughs> the cat house gallery um, <laughs> that does sculpture and, and paintings and whatnot and the um, and then my main backbone is my graphics so I, I'm a graphic artist for 30 years so I, I work uh, uh, designing everything from um, brochures and logos and things to outdoor signage and structures and that kind of thing for I, I work a lot for uh, people that used to be clients at, when I worked for uh, Patterson Signs, I worked for Patterson Signs for 30 years, and now I still am in contact with some people that need what I used to do there. So, so you, if they, you dealt with them before and they've mm -hmm. come back, I would say you must have been satisfied the first time around. 
and, <laughs> and, and what if somebody out there happens to see this video? Because you know I've got a big viewership on CBC. I've heard there's, you're I think very there's, popular. I think there's 14 people now. <laughs> and um, what if somebody out there said, I would like to get involved with one of her things, either in yeah. the art or that she needs to. Uh, needs, Oh, I've got all my fingers still. Uh, needs a, a, a place to board their cat. How yeah. do they, what's the best way for them to contact or get a hold of you? They could email me at info at comfycat.ca. Info at comfycats.ca. That seems be, to be the easiest, yeah. Before we cut this off, I was going to ask you a question mm -hmm. or two. Yeah. Uh, outside of the business, what is something that you would think that would be... Um, that no one else knows about you that you can share that might be of interest. Like you've got a, something, everybody has something in their closet. Uh, it be, uh, not not anything bad, but <laughs> what, what's the most surprising thing I would know about you? If I, it, from well, here's a surprise. Um, last year, <laughs> last year, I learned how to drink out of a bottle. You learned how to drink yeah. out of a bottle. Yeah, it's I, funny, I, I learned about that a long time ago. I, I didn't realize <laughs> that you were supposed to leave an air hole at the top. <laughs> so, so that's my surprising fact. I, I, it, it took many, many years, but I have finally um, mastered drinking out of a bottle. That is amazing to me that a 30-year-old, it's taken you 30 years to, <laughs> to learn that. Well, um, it's actually even more amazing. It's doubly amazing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's that. Yeah. Sheena, we're going to do a little walk through to your yeah. business, but okay. I, uh, it'll it, it just um, show us a few of your things, a little of your gallery, and I'm sure people out there might be interested in seeing that. Okay. Okay, there's your doves. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I mentioned I have Silver Wings Dove release, uh, silverwings.ca, so I released uh, doves for weddings and funerals, memorials. I've released them for the final divorce signings. What they are are white rock doves that are crossed with uh, homing pigeons. So you can see there's still color on this one. This is one of my granddads. He's a great old guy. Um, and his grandfather was a racing dove. So slowly the, the you breed the, the color out of them and they're white. And people hold them and release them. <laughs> Do you ever pull them out of your hat? No. <laughs> and they come back every night. Uh, I lock them up for safety. They're they're remarkable birds. They can fly 500 miles. I've actually let them go from West Vancouver, and they've come home. Uh, they they really are quite wonderful birds.